Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Coffee Time with Mr. Ying. Happy Thursday, right? I thought to drop this quick episode with you guys to check out one of the new implementation that I did for my wife actually because she's learning Chinese. So I thought, hey, that's an idea to use ChatGPT to do something for her just for fun and to see if it's helpful for her. And since it's coffee time, let's grab your drink, take a sip. So with that being said, let's get started. First of all, let me take your attention to the screen here. I have this app design. It's the same front end shiny app that I used last episode. And it's of course backed by Python. And I can create an environment such that I can have all the packages control as well as making API calls to the OpenAI website. So let's give a couple of shots, right? You have an idea you want to say in Chinese, you can enter it directly in here. My name is Peter and I want to go biking this Saturday. You're making a conversation and that's what you want to say. You click the button and I engineered the prompt in a way such that it will translate your English and correct the grammar if you have a grammar or if you have a typo and then it will translate that into Chinese and then create this pinging word by word, character by character with the tones. So that's going to be an important part because in English language, there's no tones, right? In Chinese characters, there are different tones. So each tones is corresponding to a particular meaning, particular character. And if you mess up the tones, the meaning could be different. So that's one of the main challenges for non-Chinese speakers in the beginning of their learning curve. So I thought to create this kind of pipeline for people to interact with ChatGPT such that they don't need to enter any prompt that's in a way to remind ChatGPT that this is what they want. They can just enter the idea in English, what they want to say, the ChatGPT will do that job for you. Now, let's go into the back end and talk about the design. So here, I have my VS Code open. I, of course, create a virtual environment and control all the packages. And the main meat for this program is this function here called English to Chinese. It's a function in Python that you have to define and it's essentially do a little bit of prompt engineer. What that means is you don't just let user enter whatever they want. You have user enter something that is embedded in a certain string that coins the answer for you so that user doesn't really necessarily have to enter all of that things. Even though that's what they want, they can just enter the idea and the prompt is engineered to take care of that for you. This gives ChatGPT the, is the specific instructions to tell ChatGPT to create those things that you want to create. So first of all, correct the English grammar. Because if you are doing this on the street and you're typing things using your thumb in your phone, you may or may not make any typos. So that takes care of that problem. Second of all, you want to translate English into Chinese so that now perhaps on the street, you could have somebody else read it or you could read the Chinese characters yourself if you want to learn that. The last thing is to produce the pinging with tones for each character. Now, here's one thing I figured out. If you don't have this sentence here in the end of the prompt, sometimes you will just have a pinging that may or may not match the characters that it created. And it may have tones that doesn't really map to the idea of the Chinese words. Now that's a problem because for non-Chinese speakers, it will be very challenging to figure out what's the correct one, since this is the beginning of your learning curve. So this problem doesn't completely solve the problem for you, but it kind of takes care of 90% of the situation when that happens, which is really interesting. Then you make an API call, of course, assuming that you provide the API key so that this call can be successful and you just extract the text and you return that final answer. Done. That's the, what the function looks like. It's as simple as that. Now, that's the back end, right? Now let's talk about the front end design, the UI. So this section of the app is essentially what the UI lives in. First of all, I say, hey, let's create a navigation bar. I call UI method and I call nav. That gives me the navigation bar. And then I create a learn Chinese. That's the name of the navigation bar. And then I have a layout sidebar. In that layout sidebar, I have a panel sidebar, and if you scroll down, I have a main panel. The panel sidebar is where I create the button, which of course here, you have an input action button. 
And in the main panel, you will have the actual prompt for user to enter, as well as whatever ChatGPT return that final answer that it provides, you will have to display that back on the screen. So in the main panel, I have one row, I have two rows. The first row allows user to enter that idea in English. Uh, and this input text area provides that text box for the user. Whereas the second row, I have an output text verbatim that is whatever answer or final output ChatGPT creates, let's display that back on the screen. So there you go. It's really as simple as that, two rows of code. And uh, since here we have a English Chinese output, then of course down here, we're gonna have to call that function and really provide the meat inside of that function. Uh, so we're gonna call this English to Chinese function that we already defined. It's a Python function that already exists upstream in the code. And here, we just make that call. And whatever the output is, we store that in this object called output, and we return that. So there you go. That's essentially the back end and how simple that it looks. Now let's go back to the app and give a couple more examples. So let's give another example. You can say, I have had dinner today and I'm not hungry. You go to the left, click the button, and you hit enter. And boom, there you go. That's your sentence. So ChatGPT will take a look at the grammar, try to correct it. Uh, if you don't have any typo, then it will just return whatever it is. And what should you say this? 我今天已经吃过晚饭了, and it will actually print out the pinyin to tell you how to pronounce those characters along with the tones. 我今天已经吃过晚饭了, now, of course, it's not perfect because I can tell that these two tones are actually incorrect. So we're going to have to do another episode to see if we can solve that problem. But this essentially provides the idea, right? It's not 100% correct, but I think we have that format and we have that pipeline ready here. So hope you enjoyed the episode. If you like the channel, give a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.